Professor Pineco here, and as you can see possibly on the screen, wait, right there, um, shiny magnemite on my uh, Omega Ruby shiny run. So I had caught uh, a magnemite that had magnet pull, and it's currently fainted at the front of my party, and I've been using my uh, little cutie cutie pie search kit here who i believe deserves a nickname because seriously the amount of times that it has caught me a shiny pokemon uh in the in this run through especially is turning out to be pretty amazing um uh, so yeah i'm uh, gonna spend some time catching it now uh hopefully i you know don't screw this up and uh and am able to get this done relatively quick so it I know that it is the second Magnemite, so I'm going to start from the other side. Now a lot of these are going to end up having Sturdy, which is kind of irritating. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get it, but I am super happy. This is actually my very first shiny or uh, Magnemite ever. Um, so yeah, and like it was just I sitting there doing some um, uh, watching... Uh, watching a game be played by uh, Mr. Panko and it was just like sh I heard the shing and I was like oh my goodness so quickly just turned that off there um so very very happy uh, <laughs> and a little rambly but I think that's that's kind of how my videos have been um I've also already failed one shiny in this uh my uh like I failed failed catching a shiny uh, during this run through, so you'll excuse me if I'm very, uh, uh, I'm trying not to talk too much because I don't want to kill the wrong one. As a horde, horde battling can still be hard if you're not paying enough attention to what you're doing. Um, so it's really interesting because, uh, uh, this only came after like three or four days of hunting it um but i did level up, like i was leveling up my team for a while so i had a few little random encounters here and there so yeah i'm just um thinking about exactly where it is and uh i just want i just want to make sure that i'm actually killing the right one so i will get perf uh, mr panko over here just to double check because I think I know which one it is, but I think it's that one right there. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just it's sometimes really it hard to check. It is the one that will... Yeah, this okay. one is the shiny one. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was Mr. Panko's hand. He did not have to do that, but he did. <laughs> so. I have to extrapolate my fingerprints on the internet and figure out who I am. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's fun. Uh, let's use Bubble Beam and not kill the shiny one. There we go. And of course the non-shiny one has sturdy or maybe the shiny one has sturdy. Who knows? Wasn't going to test it out. Um, so level six is a really low level. I'm, I'm actually expecting to use this guy um, uh, at some, like I want to use him in my, uh, how do I say it? Uh, like in the gym battle, because I realized that my team, although I, I have gotten pretty good natures, is really terrible, like kind of epically terrible. So, um, especially against electric Pokemon, I should say, like maybe not terrible, but against electric Pokemon, really bad. So I'm going to have to do some serious training and I thought it would be nice to have a uh, electric Pokemon on my team, you know, someone who may be able to do this for me. So I'm going to go to Pokemon. I am going to remember what I was going to do. Oh, do I not have... Do I not have... Did I put it in my... Oh, no. That's the one I need. I need Meow um, to switch because Meow has uh, Sleep Powder. Or, so, sorry, Sing. So I'm going to use Sing because I just... I don't want to touch it. As you can see, my Pokemon are quite high levels and it's only a level 6 and... Uh, a little bit nerve-wracking. Mind you, Meow, Meow is really weak. So, <laughs> uh, and also Sing has terrible accuracy. So this is gonna <laughs> also take a while. So Magnemite has no gender. Um, so I always picture it as a boy, though. Um, some kind of police officer because of the um, the dungeon mystery dungeon games. If you've never played them, they're quite fun. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and. Let's toss a premier ball at it and see if we have any luck with that. 
this premier ball would look really, really cool. I think I'm going to level it all the way up to a Magna Zone for sure. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, I really thought that would catch. So, okay. Well, we'll try another premier ball. And then I have great balls and I do have one ultra ball thing to, things to pick up. So, but I've got more than enough Pokeballs. I mean, this should, with the sleep and stuff, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, yeah, he's being a real pain though. Uh, and he's very cute and just being a bit of a pain. <laughs> He doesn't want to. Doesn't want to join my team of misfits who can't stand up to electric Pokemon. Doesn't want to be associated with them. That's that's the thing. He's a little bit of a snob Magnemite, as we're figuring out. All right, so I'm gonna try a Great Ball now because he does not seem to want to be caught in anything lower. If he makes me use my Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, I'll be very surprised. Yeah. Ah, okay, good. He's caught. I can't wait to save. <laughs> So this does put me three ahead in the uh, shiny run through. Uh, and it does mean that I actually am going to have to take on the gym leader, which kind of like, bah, of course I will. But look at that. I love how it's got like kind of the, the different color body. And I love that it's got the black magnets at the end. I just think that's super, super cool. Um, I don't know what to call him. Proton or electro or something to do with magnets at least. But if he's, if he's a magnezone... Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to say no for now, but he does need a nickname because I've decided that all of them need a nickname in here. So as I said, I'm very eager to save. <laughs> so let's go, let's go check him out. Let's go see what his ability is and let's go see if we got a good nature. Probably didn't get a good nature. Um, I got lucky with two. What are the odds that I would be lucky with three? So yeah. And I have trouble getting in that door when I'm on the bike as I hilariously found out, so that's fun. <laughs> um, okay, organize boxes. So we have the Magnemite that we were using for Magnet Pull, as I said, so we're just going to move him off of our team, put him with our kind of tool Pokemon that I'm keeping over here. And then we have my Cooper, my Hero, my Rover, and Magnemite, and it's got Magnet Pull, which is cool, so if I want any more Steel Pokemon in this run through, that's good. And it's got a quiet nature. I don't know what quiet does, so I'm going to assume... Oh, no, it's a high special attack, low speed. Actually, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good nature. So I'm, I'm happy with that. That sounds great. <laughs> All right. So there he is, and I'm going to move him onto the team here. I'm going to put away our little uh, Surskit. That's also a helper Pokemon. It's going to go over here. Um, and put Hero back on my team. So, yeah, let's, uh, I think I'd like to see him shine in a battle, uh, especially because this one didn't happen to be live, so just want to make sure that I'm showing you guys the shine when I can, although he'll have his debut in the gym for sure. I haven't decided exactly who I'm going with in the gym, and I also need to level, uh, also need to level quite a bit because... If I am going to have him in the gym, he certainly cannot be level 6. But there are some trainers you can go back and forth and fight with here. So that's actually uh, pretty awesome. So yay! We'll go ahead and get into get into it right here. So a regular electric. And a beautiful shiny magnemite. So thank you so much for joining me. Um... I now have my Route 110 encounter, so that's really exciting, and I do hope that all of your Pokemon shine. <laughs>